Good morning, Forest. I'm Lindsay Gunn. And I'm Tori Shanavar. Today's date is Wednesday, March 30th, 2022. And on today's show, we will be taking a look at all of our upcoming events and sports. This is the last week that students can pull coupons for library debt. If you pay off your library debt of lost books, overdue fines, and printing fees, you can draw a coupon that will be 25% to 100% off what you owe. Yesterday was the first rehearsal for All County Band at Bellevue High School. The students selected are Grace Alfrey, Autumn Stoner, Madison Shorb, Carter McDonald, Hunter Enslet, Brianna Wank, Ziana Thompson, Morgan Giron, Ian Jepson, Richard Brassel, Damon Seller, and Michael Jagalo. Gio Santiago, Ethan Wood, Juliana Leon and Hillary Newman, Sterling Thompson, Aiden Benjamin, Camilia Baldanio and Tuli Matthews, Selena Trulio Page and Nico Monterio. Congratulations and good luck. Any library club members, check your school email about the meeting on March 30th and movie night for Morbius on this Friday. Let Ms. Pollers know if you're going and turn in your permission form. Now let's throw it over to Ethan with all of our sports news for today. What's up, Forrest? I'm Ethan with all of your current sports updates. On Saturday, April 2nd, our track team will be competing at the track meet at Trinity Catholic High School starting at 9 a.m. Students, if you're interested in sideline cheer, please plan to attend the interest meeting on Thursday, April 21st at 5.30 in the FHS cafeteria. Contact Coach Bigelow or Coach Peak for more information. Our Lady Cats softball team visited state runner-up Winter Springs last night and were defeated 9-3. They surrendered an early lead of 4-0 in the first inning and fought back several times for a late rally by their opponents. Savannah Nolan, Julie Gabrielle, and Emily Bellowing all contributed multiple hits in their loss. Varsity Falls and JV continued their winning ways with a 6-5 victory of their own. Boys tennis unfortunately lost against Westport last night. Westport took all seven matches, but our boys didn't let them win without a fight. Our girls tennis team won against Westport 7-0. Tonight, our boy tennis team plays against Bellevue. Our girls tennis team is facing the Villages. Our boys volleyball team plays Vanguard, and beach volleyball competes against Vanguard and North Marion. This Saturday, our JRTC Raiders will be attacking on West Nassau in Jacksonville, so make sure to wish them luck on their competition. That's all the sport news I have for you today. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Ethan. The College of Central Florida will be on campus today in the Media Center. Seniors who plan on attending CF will receive a pass to attend the event. CF representatives will be here all day and will be assisting students in completing the application, and all fees will be waived. This process is relatively quick and students will be filtered in throughout the day. If you have a senior who is planning on attending CF and does not receive a pass, please let Ms. Chapman know. You can call her at 58539. JROTC went to their annual Kennedy Space Center trip this weekend. To learn more about it, aerospace science and engineering. That's all the news I have for you today. To stay updated on all new Forest, follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Tori Shenavar. And I'm Lindsay Gunn. Have a great day, Forest, and like always, Go, go Cats! Cats. Good morning, Forest.